Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 676, Implement Magic Dictionary. Uh, the way we'll be approaching this problem is by using a hash map. Um, and the hash map will be of type uh, integer map to a, a hash set. And the reason why we're doing this is because for each length, we want to store a hash set of all of the words for the solution. So let's jump right in. The first thing you need to do is initialize the hash set. Oh, sorry, the hash bar. So there will be integer hash set string. Um, I'm just call it long. And then within um. Within match dictionary itself, you will initialize it. Perfect. Um, so build a dictionary. This is where we will be adding all of the words to the hash map. So let's iterate through all of the uh, words that are given to us. And. What are we doing now? You need to check if um, map if it doesn't contain uh, if it doesn't contain s dot length. You need to add a new one. Add that put um, s dot length th and then um, a new hash set. And once that is taken care of, you would just add that map.get and start length. Um, oh, yeah, dot add s perfect. Um, so this takes care of building out the dictionary. And the next thing that you want to do is um, uh, implement the search method. The first thing that you would do is if search word dot length. Uh, let's just actually get the length first. In n is equal to search word dot length. We could have done the same for uh, this method as well, it would have been cleaner. We wouldn't have to call s.length multiple times. Um, right, so if a map doesn't contain this length, we know that the word doesn't exist. We we'll just return it. Contains key and return false. Else, uh, we will iterate through all of the words in the map. So for String uh, s in map dot get uh, n right. And so what are we doing here? Uh, once we get the for loop, you want to get you want to iterate through every single character in the word. So in i equals zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Um, so what do we do here? Oh, and for each and every single word, let's initialize an integer called count. And then we shall say that if s, um, if s dot character at Character at i uh, is not equal to search word dot character at i. We just increment the count. And once you've gone through all the letters, if count is equal to one, which means only one letter differs, we would just return true. That means it matches our condition. If not, it, it will return false. 
perfect. Uh, let's quickly compile this and see if it's okay. False true. Okay, seems like it's okay. The first test case at least. Perfect. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. Um, let's talk about the space and the time complexity. Um, the space complexity of the entire solution is of n since we're adding all of the words that are given to us in the dictionary to the hash map. Um, and the time complexity of built dictionary would be of n, um, as stated right here. For search, it would be O of n. Um, that means the number of words multiplied by the number of letters that they have. This solution is easy to uh, implement and saves time complexity. However, if you want to try something that's a little more fancier, um, that would increase space complexity, but decrease your time complexity. So it's really it really depends on how you want to tackle the problem. Do you want to uh, make sure that your space is optimized or your time is op optimized? Awesome. So if you have any questions about this uh, question, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. And see you all in the next video. Peace.